an organization in a city you know well, what does it feel like to be back here? I mean, it's always fun. Uh, obviously, I play with a lot of the guys on the other side, and then uh, I think the best part about it is spending time with friends and family, and, um, you know, it's always exciting, but it's obviously tough. you got to focus, and there's obviously a big game at Matter, uh, and I think, uh, you know, we did a good job of it. I had dinner with family last night, and now we're on to the game. When you're on a long road trip like that, like this, what does that do to have some time to spend people, spend time with people you love? And yeah, absolutely. It's been a long road trip, and you spend a lot of time with the guys. And <laughs> not that I don't love every single guy in here. I think every guy could uh, admit that they'd like to spend time with family if they could. And uh, you know, I'm just lucky enough and blessed enough to be able to have family here in Boston. And uh, you know, it's definitely cool to have. Is it your job to throw them a recommendation? In oh yeah, yeah. I threw them a couple ones. Monica's in the north end's my spot, so uh, that's where a lot of guys went to dinner last night. So. You do know this team. What goes into your preparation to battle against a group that's playing so well right now? Um, I don't know. I think we've been playing really well too, right? So I think uh, not being uh, hard on ourselves, I think we got to be confident, uh, know that if we play the right way, uh, we can play with anybody, especially uh, teams of this nature. I mean, they're a very good team, uh, but we also got to respect ourselves. And I think if we if we play the, and continue to play the right way that we have, uh, good things will happen, especially against good teams. And uh, I know that if we don't show up and uh, play the way that we have, uh, it could go very poorly. So I think everybody knows that tonight's a big game. Is there a particular part of the way this team plays that you think really needs to be on it or that is going to be a big strength against the Bruins? Just keeping it simple. I think if we limit their chances, they're such a good offensive team. If you give them the puck, uh, turnovers, that kind of stuff, they're going to capitalize 98% of the time. So for us, uh, making sure we're doing the right things, playing hard, and uh, making it a full 60-minute game. Brian, look at just how optimized this league has become toward offense, speed, skill, rules. What are, what are the defensive principles then that you have to keep in mind just to be able to to be consistent against this? I think being good down low, uh, for one, killing plays early, not letting them get momentum and uh, pinning you down on your own end and changing in the ozone and uh, getting fresh guys out there against guys that are tired. Uh, being good on the walls, blocking shots. Kind of It's kind of the cliche things, but it actually goes a long way in the D zone. So. With him played against him. What sense about Patrice Bergeron's game and how he's able to keep at this level of play 17, 18 years in the league? No, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, I mean, it's it's been very fun to watch him uh, ever since I've been a little kid. And it's still, you got to pinch yourself when you go out and play against him. But uh, I mean, it, it is amazing, and I'm just happy to be a part of his uh, long, long career.